Hello everybody, this is Victor Green coming at you again with Art in the Heart with Victor Green. Um, today I'm going to cover a little bit of gesture drawing. Gesture drawings are when you take a basic figure, like a stick figure, and you get the gesture which defines the action that the figure is going to be doing. Now earlier we did a lesson where I showed you the human figure at eight heads tall, so you can use this lesson in conjunction with that one to get some gesture drawings out of the way so you can get your figures in action and doing what they need to do. So grab your pencils and your papers and come on along. Okay. So to cover figure drawing, as far as gesture drawing is concerned, a gesture is to use just that, a gesture, which is a motion or an action that's picked up in a drawing. So what we're gonna do is, usually start off with the head. So here's our character. So the head, yet again, I'm using those fundamental symbols we talked about, squares, circles, And a few triangles here or variations of triangles so here's your standard stick man okay now what does this gesture say when I look at that I see a standard hands on the hip pose right now just by moving the arms using the same basic figure I'm taking it down the feet, same size. I'm using my technical pencil here, but it doesn't matter what type of pencil you use. I do this. I've got your, hey, I don't know pose, okay? Now, gesture drawings have a lot of things going for them. You have something that's called a flow line when someone's in action. Here's your Tarzan swinging. Let's put an arrow in there to accent that a little bit. What if we want somebody running away? It also helps obviously to look at things in real life so that you can emulate them in your drawings. It's got a big elbow there, but that's okay. Let's practice. And I ran out of paper here, but it's all right. You get the gist of it. Ooh, first time I'm using the eraser. Somebody call Guinness. We can do that, but that leg was a little bit out of place and I didn't like it, so I had to get rid of it. Let's pretend I didn't even put that there and let's put another one there in this place. And here's your character running. Okay. We want somebody sitting. Obviously, it helps to have models or picture references, so I'm just going to draw. And as you can see, I'm drawing all over my page because this is just to help us get used to things. So we're going to put their hands in a resting pose. Their legs will come out a little bit. Feet will come down. Legs will come out. Feet will come down. Let's say they had a stool right up under them like this. Ah, I broke my leg. A little bit too rough on the pencil. Okay, there's my person sitting. And if I wanted to do another variation of that, because you can see that, watch this. I'm going to get rid of the arms. That's where that eraser could come in. Take these arms out this. Here's a variation of that rectangle. And now we have a person reading a book. We all know that reading is fundamental and we should do more of it. So let's put his eyes in there. Really cartoony here, but that's okay. You zoom in on that a little bit. He's smiling because he's reading this book. Right? Okay. 
gesture drawings are very very important because they give you a base layout of what your figure is going to be doing Here's one that I know my high school students are going to want to see. Because, depending on what school district you're at, and if those grades are where they're supposed to be, you'll be doing this. Anybody tell me what this is? Here's the diploma. Tossing the hat. See that? Okay. This body I use circles on because you can use circles, you can use rectangles, whatever you're comfortable with, as long as you get the gist of it. Remember, they're just gesture drawings. Here's another. I'm going to take up this page using this. Those of you who are sports fans out there. They say Shaq can't do this very well, but here's your free throw. We'll cover more about motion later, but there's your ball in motion. You see that? Alright. And all these drawings can be fleshed out at a later date to make them more detail and to further get the point across. But that base gesture is what you need to tell what's going on. Okay? For those superhero enthusiasts out there. Somebody cue the Superman music. There's his cape. And there's the beginnings of the Man of Steel. Okay? So using that breakdown that I gave you in the earlier lesson, using the eight heads, in combination with these gestures, and using the circles, lines, and variations of squares and triangles, you should be able to get some very interesting gesture drawings. Take a look at some real-world examples. Practice, practice, and practice.